Hey everybody, Dave Basulto, FilmmakingCentral.com, back in wonderful Premiere Pro CS5, the new upgrade of Premiere by the wonderful folks at Adobe. Super fast, 64-bit technology, Mercury Engine, there's just so much to talk about. Today we're going to talk about getting, importing, and, and uh, capturing your footage, because we need something to edit. So uh, let's go into one of our projects. So if we go into New Video 1, which we created last time. It's going to open up Premiere Pro. And the simplest way I can tell you to import any footage is if you have it on your computer or on a, or on a portable hard drive or whatever. The way I work is I go into the project panel and I just simply double click. It opens up this dialog box where I can find various assets uh, that I want to bring in. And then once I've done that, let's say I'm going to go into this Canon 5D footage. I'm just going to select one, uh, click open. And it's going to import the file, and there it is. Up in the area here where I can tell what footage it is in the viewer. Uh, I can preview it. I can take a uh, poster frame of a, of a snapshot there. Uh, and it's telling me it's 1920 by 1080 footage. So this footage is ready to go. Uh, from there, I can just drag it into the uh, viewer here, the source viewer, where I can do my editing. And we're going to go over all that in the next video. So also I can go into file and then import. It'll bring up the exact same dialog box and you can import your footage that way. Also, if you want, let's go back into this view. Uh, you can go, I'm sorry, let me go back one. I don't know why it's doing this to me, but it is. Uh, tutorials for assets, there we go. I can just go in there and grab um, this whole folder and click import folder. It'll bring in the entire folder. So that's how simple it is to find media and put it in there. You can also use the media browser to look for your media, which is down below here. And if I go into my WD4, um, and let me just drag this over a little bit, CS5 assets. Canon 5D, here's my files once again. So that's it. Very simple to import your footage. Now let's talk about capture. To capture, you want to go to File and Capture or press F5 for the shortcut. And that will bring up the Capture dialog box. Currently, I have no device online, but had I had a camera hooked up to my computer, uh, it would say device online. And real simple, this whole layout here is just so easy to capture this way. Uh, you're going to go into your logging screen here and you're going to log, of course, audio and video. You're going to put in your tape name here, new movie, and the clip is uh, shot uh, 001. And I'm going to say this is awesome. That's not how I spell awesome. This is awesome. And I can put my scene number, my shot, my take, whatever I want. All that information here. If I have time codes, I can set an endpoint. So let's say uh, my time starts at 216. And that's my end. And then the out, the out code that they give me was 821. I can set my in and my out, and then I can click log clip, and it's going to go into a batch. So then once I'm done logging all my clips, I can just do a batch capture, which I can go down here and type in and out. And that's it. It'll start capturing uh, for your time codes. Another thing that's really simple here is I can do uh, just capture the entire tape by clicking tape. It'll just log and capture the whole, the whole entire tape. The cool thing is that if you remember in the first video, we went into preferences and capture, and you definitely took off this abort capture on drop frames. You have no problems. Just capture, boom, it'll start bringing in the whole tape. Uh, the other thing here is you can control, manually control your deck, whichever your computer is on. I mean, your camera, I should say. Very simple. You can do scene detect as well. If you want to just capture the tape and do scene detect, it'll automatically do it for you. And handles here. I like to put um, five frames 
so I can have handles on them, sometimes 10 frames. And what handles are, are let's say at 216 was our first endpoint. It's going to go 10 frames prior and 10 frames after the endpoint to give us handles. And those will be used later in transitions and etc. Okay, so in the settings area, we're capturing uh, HDV. We can edit and change it to um, DV, I believe. And the wonderful beach ball from the Mac is here. Yes, even though I have a lot of RAM memory, and this is a first version Mac, we have to have our little beach ball. <laughs> uh, while we're waiting for that to, to take care of itself, you can go to capture locations and audio. You can change those or keep them the same as project. If you have a lot of footage, you might want to find a different drive that's going to store all the footage. And here's your device control, and you have options for that as well. And here's our capture setting dialog box. You can choose DV or HDV. Real simple. Okay. Uh, so that's it. Um, like I said, down here you have your device control, which is going to be your camera. And there's options for that, of course. Let's just take a look. You can choose the camera. So you have video standard. We're doing NTSC or PAL. What kind of camera? Here are all the different types, JVC, Kyocera, Sharp, Sony, Videonics. I've never even heard of them. Uh, those are different types of, uh, and you can actually choose. So if I went into here and cho chose Canon, I can choose what kind of camera it is that I'm bringing in. And I can auto detect. And that's it. Very, very simple to use to capture video. Really simple to import your video. Once you have it in here, you're able to just drag it over, and now we're ready to start editing, and we're going to go over that in the next video. Thanks a lot for watching. Download a free trial of Premiere Pro now. I have the link below. Okay, take care.